What is up my frosty brethren? My name is Arctic and today I'm bringing you guys some more Destiny gameplay using the Titan class and I'm finally level 20. I uh, got there. I think I played two games into level 20. Um, still don't have all my abilities. I think I have uh, something like eight abilities still to go. Um, it took me 70 matches to uh, crucible matches to get to level 20 and uh you know it's been an interesting journey like i said i still have to work my way up from um the uh, i think early stages of the of the game i'm at sitting at like a 1.5 kd in clash um and it's been very very smooth i'd say from the time i unlocked a lot of the the level uh 16 gear some of my like the rifles i was using um upward to level 20 and then once I got to 20 uh, I equipped like my uh, exotic uh, whatever the armor was that was it for Zur there it's like it's called like armoridium or something like that I can't I don't even know I'm not 100% sure because I didn't look at it uh, that close uh, closely so I equipped that some other level 22 legendary gear that I had and uh, that put me at 24 with the light so um, I just took a weekend basically to get to uh, level 20 I probably would have got it a lot faster, but I didn't actually play on at all really on Saturday um, so um, You know, it's been like I said it, it, an interesting journey, you know using shoulder charge uh, took a little bit of time uh, to kind of understand how to use it Because uh, it kind of pulls you out of of your uh, first person view and then you go sliding forward a little bit. The other thing I've been wondering is if it actually is faster to kind of mix in some shoulder charges as you're moving around the map from platforming and stuff. Um, so I haven't looked at any videos or done any tests or looked at Reddit or at all uh, for anything like that. So uh, if you guys know, I, I definitely you know point out a video that shows uh, the speed difference and using shoulder charge to go around the map. I haven't, uh, again, 100% uh, been sure that it does. I've definitely been using it to get on some platforms a little faster versus just kind of lifting up to a certain platform, just kind of thrusting forward uh, and doing that. The other thing I unlocked was, I think it's called Death From Above. Um, you, you know, using your super is, is uh, you have to be kind of, you know, in some situations where you can kind of use it. Now, the Death From Above animation it's just like that Superman dive to the ground. I love the animation for uh, that super. It is uh, unbelievably awesome. The thing that I keep getting caught up on because I just switched to it is that uh, I keep using it uh, when I'm not that high in the air. So he does like the gimpiest like jumping dive that you've ever seen. Uh, so I still have to uh, kind of get used to how I, I want to use it. Um, and, and specific situations uh, when, whenever I'm jumping. So that's one thing that I've, I've kind of noticed is that, you know, I need to lift a little bit higher, but the target acquisition for it uh, seems like it just snaps right to them. You can get some pretty uh, ridiculous kills. Uh, doesn't seem like it's gonna work if I'm in tight uh, space areas. So I kind of have to think about how I wanna use that. But overall though, uh, like I said before, it's been an interesting journey. Once I got some more weapons unlocked, the game has been exponentially easier. And uh, I actually have some video where I was dealing with uh, some people that were blinking. Uh, and it, I don't think I, I died. I think maybe one one or two encounters uh, was these two blink shotgunners. Um, and it, it is kind of, uh, I, I think, a little challenging uh, for someone that doesn't understand how blink works to see these guys or or um, uh, play against blink whenever you s you see it and you haven't used it but once you use it i feel like they were almost at a disadvantage uh, quite often um you some of the moves that i do like the blink melee uh, what people end up doing is backpedaling into uh the shots and uh what what i ended up doing was as they are blinking behind me i just run forward and uh then i turn around and shoot at them because you can't acquire your target and blink until you're out of the blink animation and on your way down so if you're moving forward and they're going uh, momentum based with you know their momentum based move blink um they're going up and over you then they they don't have a chance to readjust so i caught a couple of those guys off guard i think doing that <laughs> quite frequently and obviously i know um, once I hear it and see it, um, where I need to kind of uh, start acquiring my target uh, next. So I have some video kind of breaking down how that uh, played out. 
Uh, now the team that I had was just oh god, it was so rough playing with uh, some of the the team members that I had last night uh, during that phase when I was playing against those guys specifically. But man, I, I can't wait to show you guys some of the video and and uh, it it was interesting because like I said, I've had Blink and I haven't had the opportunity yet to really react to Blink without blinking myself, you know. So it's it's been one where I could just blink away as someone was blinking to me, and not having that means I just run forward now um so it's uh i can't wait to show you guys uh, i think you guys would be pretty interested in the gameplay i hope you guys enjoyed this little uh tight another titan update uh for you guys uh don't forget i post videos every day at 2 p.m eastern standard time you guys can check it out uh looking forward to uh, seeing your guys' comments and until the next time i will catch you all later stay frosty